Hey, what's up everyone? Surreal Canine here. We're playing Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explores the Sky. In the last episode, we uh, climbed up the dark hill. And uh, Daniel gave some encouraging words to Aaron. Over in fanfic land, uh, Abram would have journeyed for a bit by himself, uh, very close to giving up, and then he would run into Daniel at the top of Dark Hill. Uh, Daniel would say, hey, I got separated from Ben at a monster house. Uh, he talked for a little longer. Abram asked Daniel why he trusts Ben so much, and Daniel doesn't really have an answer. But given Malice's actions so far, it's pretty obvious who the real enemy is. So the two of them resolve to find Ben together and then return to the past, and uh, that catches us up with where we are here. We'll leave as soon as we're ready. Let's stash some more of our stuff. Bonk, 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 bonk. Don't really need an all hit orb for anything. Don't really need these for anything. Thing. No, I'll hold on to these. Uh, let's see. Take out some iron, some more iron thorns. Yeah, there we go. Twenty-three is good. All right, let's save the game. And continue onward. Into the sealed ruin. This is uh, eight floors, then a midpoint, then six more floors, and then a boss. So, uh, yeah. Watch out for the boss, guys. There, because there's a boss. Uh, Tangrowth is a grass type Pokemon. Probopass is, I believe. I want to say rock and steel? I don't know. You'll find out when I use Fire Fang. Yeah, Rock and Steel. Okay. Focus Punch. That could come in handy. It's uh, good for getting the jump on a guy that's two tiles away. Uh, I like having my high PP move, and I like having my uh, same type of attack bonus move, and I also like uh, swords dance and smoke screen. So, <laughs> who knows? I might just take this move load out into the end game. Uh, assume I don't learn flamethrower. <coughs> Payback. Uh, it's the same uh, move we've seen a bunch of other guys use around here. Flash, huh? Uh, I don't think it's all that useful, though. <laughs> well, actually, Flash might be useful in Dark Runes, but I don't want to have to give up a move slot for it, you know? If only you could just learn any move you wanted. <laughs> oh well. Final Fantasy, this ain't. Ooh, Abram learned a new move. Faint, huh? Breaks through the enemy's protect status and inflicts damage. It's, uh... A little low in... Yeah, forget Vacuum Cut. <coughs> Shelgun, pure dragon type, with all form of Baggin. Yeah, 
It's muck. It's a poison type. Very gross. Although, you know, they call in a smite master or something. Ooh, rock slide. And again, uh... Not good enough to replace any of my current moves, even if uh, one of us could learn the rock slide, which I am not absolutely certain of. Magnet Rise! Uh, that makes... Okay. Daniel, they came immobilized. I mean, you know, sure, whatever, right? Patsy Band makes uh, the holder more vulnerable to critical hits. So, uh, if we throw it at the boss, hope they catch it, it could uh, turn out to be pretty useful. Yeah, take that. Transfer orb, uh, not too useful. Unless they run into that one Pokemon, which I'm not sure we have any that one Pokemons in this uh, dungeon. Rather have a, uh, rather have an orb berry than a transfer orb. So there we go. There is literally no purpose in doing anything with this apple, because here's a midpoint. Let's keep going. I've gone quite deep. It's not much farther now. If I get through here, I should be at the forest. Sableye are coming. There's no time to lose. That reminds me. I wonder how those two are doing. Did they elude the Sableye? Ugh, forget it. This isn't the time. I have to give priority to my own mission, no matter what. I vowed to complete it, even if it means making sacrifices. Time to go. You there! Stop! Who's there? You invade this place with no warning! Then you disturb our slumber? Then without apology, you try to leave! Who's there? Who are you? You dare to anger us? We expect you to pay for these insults! Where are you? Quit hiding and reveal yourself. You accuse us of hiding? We do not hide! We are... We are here! We are spirit tomb. There is no mercy for those who transgress against us. Gah! Uh oh, it sounds like Ben's in trouble. Bonk. We don't have too much farther to go though. Bonk. Chestnut Trap, 10 damage. <laughs> A little silly, but uh, there we go, I guess. Oh, hi! Bonk. It's a uh, Metang, Steel Psychic type. I think of the chances he has. Uh... No, okay, we're good. Wow, this is a uh, this is a dramatic dungeon theme. I'm sure, I'm missing a lot. I don't really 
need an apple. The stairs are in the set. Yep, right here. <laughs> Good for us, I guess. Donk. Got to uh, keep being a little bit active in my uh, in my antimatter dimensions because I finally got to upgrade something. That means it's gonna get even faster. There are a lot of dudes here just wandering around in the space and the place and the face and I leveled up. Not very much in the way of stats, but I mean, uh, whatever. We got plenty of gummies. <laughs> got plenty of boosts from plenty of gummies. Ooh, there's a cross-eye seed around here. Uh, let's see if we can find that Tangrowth. Another focus punch. <laughs> Not strictly needed. Ooh, sludge! Bleh. Of course, uh, I bet biting a muck has to be the worst thing ever, too. It is not the kind of thing you just do. Oh, there's Tangrowth. Hey, you! Whoops. Hey, you. I throw a thing at you. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, there's our cross eye seed. Uh, what can I swap for this? Sure. Boom, baby. Oh, hey, I'm out of Fire Fang. Hmm. Alright, final floor. Yeah, might as well, uh... Might as well load up on Sword Dance. Anyone who passes through here is gonna get wrecked. Of course, it's a dead end. Oh no, you didn't! Boom. That didn't actually do very much damage. Oh well. We made it to the bottom. The sealed ruin pit. Uh oh. Uh, I think Spiritomb is uh, causing problems for Ben. Enemy lurks nearby. It's the thingy. All those who trespass upon this land, none shall be forgiven. None. Not least of all, you. Who is that? Who are you? You ask after us? Our name is Spiritum. We are the manifestation of a fusion of spirits. One hundred and eight of them! Be careful, you two. That Pokemon is strong. <laughs> Prepare to take your punishment. No, I think you should take your punishment. First up. Uh, not bad. First up, Swords Dance. Ominous Wit- Ooh, 
That's uh, a little dangerous. Can I get you to step over here? Yes, okay. Our stuff? Uh, yeah, sure. Stun seed. Alright, Spiritum is another ghost dark type. That means he has no weaknesses. Ooh, uh, I better heal. Sleep Seed! <laughs> he hides back in his little keystone. That's funny. Yeah, there we go. 103 damage. 130 damage. Yes! <laughs> well, that was anticlimactic. Was just silly. They got spooked and ran. Are you all right? Yeah, I'll be fine. Can you get up somehow? That Pokemon. It was cunning. When it might, <laughs> it went up his nose. Wow. Spiritomb was probably upset over us trespassing in its space. It was frightening because it became so angry that it lost control of itself. But you saw what happened when the situation turned sour, it fled. It's normally a timid Pokemon. There are many such Pokemon here in your future. They're Pokemon who should be good, but they become bitter and twisted because of this world's perpetual darkness. You see. Good Pokemon but go going bad because of this world? That makes me sad. Hey, you two. Now will you finally trust me? Um, somewhat? I'll admit it, I don't really trust you, but... <sighs> I told you before, there's no point in continuing together if there's no trust between us. I'm leaving. But wait! I didn't say I don't believe you. Uh, to be perfectly honest, we don't know what's what anymore. That's why we want to know as much as we can learn, and... It's true I still don't completely trust you, Ben, but, but... But what you said does make some sense. It just seems to be logical. So, please? Will you tell us what you know? Tell us about this future and why you came to our world. So, what if everything I say is a pack of lies? It's alright. I won't accept everything you say at face value right away. I'll listen and then decide. Well, fine. Follow me. Yeah, sure, we can save. Good. This'll do. This sable I won't be able to spot us easily here. Uh, tell us, Ben. In the future, why did the plant's paralysis take place? The cause of the plant's paralysis, that dates back to your time, in the world of the past. The plant's paralysis started with the collapse of Temporal Tower, which was governed by Dialga. Dialga? Who is that? He's the legendary Pokemon that controls time. Dialga ensured the proper flow of time from Temporal Tower, but when Temporal Tower collapsed, time gradually got out of control, and eventually the planet fell into paralysis. What? What happened to Dialga? When time went out of whack, Dialga also lost control. Now here in your future, the planet has become fully paralyzed, and thus Dialga has lost almost all his reason, and is governed by darkness. Dialga is now beyond recognition. He's become an entirely different entity. 
Yes, he has been transformed into Primal Dialga. A primordial Presence. Okay. Primal Dialga feels no emotion. He seeks only self-preservation, so he prevents history from changing. That's why... <coughs> that's why Dialga wants me gone. Because I tried to change history. Because <coughs> I tried to stop the planet's paralysis. Because I traveled back in time to your world from this place. Your future. What? Benjamin, you're saying you came back to our world so you could prevent the planet's paralysis? That's completely the opposite of what we were told. Weren't you the one stealing the time gears? You gotta be joking. I was collecting time gears because they were needed for preventing the planet's paralysis. I needed to take them to the Temporal Tower and put them in place. That would have reversed the collapse of Temporal Tower, which is fully underway in your time. Well, it's true that removing a time gear from a specific place causes time to stop in that area. That's only temporary. After the time gears are all put into Temporal Tower, time would have been fully restored to normal everywhere. But then, what about all the things Malleus said about you? Like how he said you were a wanted outlaw in the future, and how you escaped from the future then fled to our world in the past. So you're claiming all that was just a bunch of lies? What else could it be? Because Malleus really is an agent sent from his future by Primal Dialga to get rid of me. What? Malleus was an agent sent to get rid of you? That's right. I have said that Primal Dialga will try to thwart any attempt to alter the course of history. That's why when he learned that I traveled through time, he sent Malleus after me. The great Malleus? It can't be. It's hard for you to believe, I know. I can't believe it at all! You're saying all this about the great Malleus? What's so great about him, honestly? It is hard to accept, but... Looking back over what we've been through in this future world, what Ben said is reasonable. It makes perfect sense. And Abram knows it. Abram knows deep down that what Ben is saying is true, but knowing that makes it that much harder to accept. But... Hey, where are you going? I'm gonna go see Malleus. What? I wanna see Malleus. I'm gonna find out if what you said is true or not. What's the point of that? You'll only be making it easy for him to get rid of you. You won't stand a chance against them. Then what am I supposed to do? What are you supposed to do? Didn't you wonder this earlier? And you decide you would decide for yourself. You insisted that because you don't know what to believe. You wouldn't accept words for their face value, and you think for yourself. It's time like this when things are tough that you have to be strong. Think for yourself, then act as you deem right. Benjamin, what are you gonna do now? I'm going back to the past again to stop the plant's paralysis. To do that, I need to find Celebi. Celebi? That's right. You can come with me or not. It's your choice. You two decide on your own course of action. I'm off. I don't know what I should believe either, but there is one thing I can say with certainty. In this future world of darkness, there is only war. <laughs> in the paralysis of the planet, it happened back in our world. That's why to stop that from happening, we have to get back to the past. We have to get back. Back to our world. Daniel, yes, I know. What Benjamin said, he's right. Things are very tough now. That's why we have to be strong. I'm all right now. Let's go. Let's catch up to Ben. Uh, Daniel, we have to, we have to get back, back to our own world. I'm just copying what I just said. has been set for the capture of the traitors. When the time comes, it may be necessary for us to beg your help. As you wish, by your leave we shall proceed. What? What 
What was that strange sensation? I've had that strange sensation before. Where are we? This is Dusk Forest. Its name comes from the dark fog that perpetually shrouds it. Deep in this forest, we should find Celebi. Hey Ben, you mentioned that name before, but who is Celebi? Celebi is the legendary time travel Pokemon. She has the ability to cross time, but, well, she's a little odd. Anyway, Celebi's ability enabled me to go to the past. So if we find Celebi, can we return to our world? Yes, you can go back, but Celebi is the Pokemon that sent me to the past. That means Celebi is lent her support to reshaping history. Wait, are you saying Celebi's in trouble too? That's right. Primal Dialga is also targeting Celebi, so there's no time to waste. Get ready soon. We have to find Celebi. Alright, well, we are going to have to get ready and then, uh, and then do this thing. See you guys in the next episode.